What's going on, E Nation Army? This is Ian Perez, 1227 here, and welcome back to yet another Diecast review. Happy Monday, happy day to the 500 week, and all that fun stuff. Looking forward to that. Whenever I do get a chance to watch those races, depending if I do have work or not. Um, so, yeah, in this case, to celebrate 2024 Daytona 500 week, I'm just going to call it that until Daytona Speed Week is somehow officially back. Who knows? Um, in honor of Daytona 500 coming up, uh, we're going to be reviewing a diecast review on the 1990 Daytona 500 champion, Derek Cope. This is Derek Cope's 1991 Pure Ladder Chevy Lumina from the Wind Cup Racing Team. And I got to say, this livery is very unique i I'll, I'll go over it later because it's a unique livery basic simple but unique so let's go with the car so here we got the number 10 and we got the uh the sticker contingencies sponsors uh you got goodyear simpson goodies nascar race car you got Derek hopes uh name on the name rail also if i do sound different i am sick so yeah uh, that's why I sound different just in case. If y'all were wondering why I sound different. Um, been sick for like what? A couple of days? Like two days I think. So yeah. Anyway. So on the hood. Oh god that was terrible. I had a stroke for a moment. On the hood. You got pure ladder. You got these uh, checker flag patterns. You got number 10. And I know there's nothing. No Chevy Bowtie. No Lumina uh, wording. But it is a Lumina. You can tell because of. Because it's a Chevy Lumina body from the early 90s. Uh, same side as the left. On the rear bumper, you got Pure Ladder, number 10. On the roof, you got number 10. And on the deck lid, you got Pure Ladder. So yeah, not a lot going on um, with this die cast. Um, so yeah, this is a very unique livery because I love the uh, transaction. Uh, the, oh God, transition. From the, uh, it looks like pinkish, orangish, red. Like, not on the camera. And you got the transition with the checker flag patterns to the white. I thought that was pretty cool. And I like that he did an honor. Uh, a throwback to this delivery back in 2016. And wore his own fire suit from 1990. Um, from what I heard. Um, so yeah. Very uh, race car -y like livery, of course. And I know not a lot of people are going to like bring up Derek Cope's achievements. Because, I mean, I know he's got two cup wins in 1990 and a Bush win in 1994, I think. And a lot of people like want to, like, I don't know, make jokes about him and all that. Like, I mean, yeah, I know he's a race car driver that hasn't done a lot Throughout his career, I know he's been like a backmarker driver and all that. He did the best he could do. I know there were some moments that wasn't professional, per se. Like the 2021 qualifying duels. Um, of course, like people, people, whenever people bring up their code, they just want to like do jokes about it or something like, 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 I don't know. Like, I remember like a couple of weeks ago, one of my videos um i was like having this debate with someone in the comments on my the money team rant video um brought up their copers on like that one part and i'm like hey i know Derek Cope hasn't done a lot in his career but i mean at least he's still a 1990 champion i know oh he hasn't done a lot after but still at the end of the day even though he hasn't done a lot he's still the 1990 daytona 500 champion so what if it was Dale Earnhardt? So, so what if it was only because Dale Earnhardt um, ran over some debris and blew a tire in turn three and four? Guess what? Derek Cope was at the right place at the right time. So what if he got lucky? The point of racing is you're supposed to be there at the end and finish P1. Whether it's whether you win races by what? Like domination, last lap, or by luck? Guess what? At the end of the day, Derek Cope still got the trophy. He still got the prize money. He's the Daytona 590. Um, he's the... Sorry, I am English and terribly. He's still the 1990 Daytona 500, whether you like it or not. That's the reality, folks. That's how it is. I'm so tired of life. Some people give me crap about it. So, yeah. 
You can, like, be Daytona 500 champion and still underachieve. As long as you're still Daytona 500 champion, that's what should matter. There should be more respect on Daytona 500 champions. No matter how you win it, no matter how many times you win it, no matter how you do in NASCAR, you're still Daytona 500 champion no matter what. Stays with you for the rest of your life. Even if you die, still there. So, yeah, I want to say something. Um, I really doubt this is going to be, like, some random video I'll post uh, this part on the Ian the Motorsports Man channel. I doubt it. Um, like I've been doing like twice. So yeah, that's gonna do it for another diecast review. Uh, Derek Cove's 1991 Pure Ladder, Chevy Lubina. I, I don't know if I mentioned this because I was like rambling. This bothers me. Like in a real life, in a real life car, there's Pure Ladder on the rear of the car. And the fact that there's no Pure Ladder logo there it bothers me. Like, I know it's a diecast from, like, 1991 and all that. But, like, still, put something. It bothers me that, that look. It just looks naked. That's all. It looks naked as hell. But, either way, still an amazing car. Yeah, still a nice car. Um, so, yeah. Amazing that I got this diecast before the 500 because, of course... It's the same livery that won the 500 back in 1990, even though this was 1991. So, yeah. Sorry about that. That was Mia. So, that's going to do it for another Diecast review. I just want to say thank you all so much for watching. This should have been, um, this video should have been shorter, but I rambled. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. This is Ian Perez 1227. Signing off. Goodbye, everybody.